Pleased to be joined now via Skype by Stefan Wisniewski, one of the Steelers' newest free agents. Welcome to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Explain how this process has been like for you, not getting a chance to actually visit teams uh, and being in State College at your house right now where you said you are. Yeah, yeah. it's been a little different than before, and usually there ends up being some visits. You know, you go meet with some coaches and do physicals and, and all that and travel around a little bit. But this one was different. It was just phone calls, phone calls, phone calls, done. And, um, you know, luckily I, I, you know, have family in Pittsburgh and was close by. So I did my physical uh, without having that be a big problem. But definitely a little bit different free agency this time around. Stefan, you grew up in Pittsburgh. You played high school football at Central Catholic. You then went to Penn State, where you are right now in State College. And finally getting a chance to come back home and play for your hometown team. What is this experience like? I'm so excited about it. Um, it's I feel like it's every Pittsburgh kid's dream to grow up and play for the Steelers. And when you get to the NFL, you realize you don't have that much say always in where you're going to end up. And you get drafted, you just go somewhere and free agency. Usually you only have one, two, maybe three choices. And um, obviously I've played a bunch of different places in my first nine years of my career by this time spot opened up on the Steelers and I was just so excited to have an opportunity. Always hoped I'd have a chance to to play at home in my hometown and finally get one here in my 10th season. And uh, I'm so excited about it. My family's so excited. I'm going to have them at every game, friends from back home. I, I can't wait to, to wear the black and gold. So who was your player you really liked growing up from the Steelers? Oh, man, there was a lot of them. Um, definitely always liked Paul Amalu. I uh, just loved the way he played. And being an O lineman, always watch some of the best O linemen. You know, remember rooting for Jeff Hardings and Alan Fanica, watching those guys like the way they played. And obviously the bus, Jerome Bettis. I mean, who didn't love watching that guy <laughs> run the ball? Ramon Foster just announced his retirement. BJ Finney, also a member of the Steelers O line, left to go play for the Seahawks. So, what do you feel like you're bringing to this group that has had such continuity over recent years? Yeah, I. Um, you know, I bring a lot of experience. I've got over 100 starts in the NFL, uh, played center, played guard, uh, won Super Bowls. And uh, I think I can bring that winning mindset, bring that experience, um, hoping to compete for the starting left guard job and been a starter most of my career. So that would be that would be ideal. But, you know, whatever the team needs, if I'm going to be a, a backup. I could do that as well, center guard. But just excited for the opportunity to, to be a part of this O-line. It's a really good group. Uh, talented group, veteran group, and I know I can uh, I can improve it and add, add what I can do. All right, so center or left guard, do you have a preference, or is it kind of whatever works for the team you're playing with? Yeah, whatever works. I've played a lot of left guard lately, so that would be an easy, an easy fit. A happy belated birthday to you. I saw the photo you posted on social media, kind of, uh, I guess, summing up what a lot of people's moods are who are celebrating their birthdays right now. Yeah, I think uh, quarantine life is is making birthdays and a lot of things pretty weird here. So <laughs> wanted to wanted to be able to laugh at it, and uh, I think a lot of people could relate to that. One of our good friends, Tunch Ilkin, a little birdie, told me used to help you back in your Central Catholic days. Uh, a is that true? And what has Tunch taught you, if so? Yeah, Tunch is awesome. Um, you know, he's buddies with my dad, so. Uh, my dad taught me football. My dad played D-line, though, so Tunch and uh, some of my dad's other buddies taught me how to play offensive line, and Tunch was huge in that. He actually, even before I was in high school, I mean, middle school, probably even elementary school, to be honest, Tunch was teaching me how to pass block and uh, was a huge blessing for me to just be a kid and having an NFL guy teaching me how to play. I learned a lot from him about, about how to pass block and how to play offensive line, and I still do some of his drills that he taught me back when I was a kid, you know, even now in the NFL. Okay, so you can pick a player or a coach, but who are you most looking forward to working with in the Pittsburgh Steelers organization? Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Coach Tomlin, you know, from different players and uh, different people I hear. He's a great guy to play for. Obviously, you know, looking forward to working with Big Ben. A uh, guy's been a great quarterback in the NFL for a long time and excited to be part of that offense and uh, I know with Ben leading it it's uh, capable of being a great offense.
Stefan, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Looking forward to meeting in person soon. Hope so. Thank you.